So here we go. I got my uh, got my clutch out. Going to inspect it, and we're also going to clean it, clean it up, maintain it, get it ready for tomorrow's race. It's a Hilliard clutch. I'm trying to determine. I'm not sure if this is a Hilliard flame. I'd have to compare it to the uh, pictures to find out exactly which um, exactly which clutch this is. But we'll um, get it cleaned up. My uh, drum, clutch drum, clutch bell. Looks pretty good, feels pretty decent. I'll get some sandpaper, put some sandpaper to it, see if I can smooth it out a little bit. The bearings also look good. Clean these up. Get all the oil off of them, all the old oil. Put a tad, put a little bit of a, a little bit of oil on them to lubricate it up a little bit. Same goes with this. Give this all a nice cleaning. Move my bearings over to the side. A little bit of a brake cleaner. These little blue towels really probably aren't the best thing for this. I'll just use some red towels. Red towels put off a lot of lint. So I don't really like using them a whole lot, but it is what it is. Take a little bit of scotch bright. I didn't have any um <clears throat> didn't have any uh sandpaper around 200 grit or whatnot the only sandpaper that i actually have is like 80 grit and i think that's a little too abrasive probably quite a bit abrasive if you're into go-karting and go-kart racing and if you're into uh, watching youtube videos and stuff um i'm sure you've come across stall racing s-t-a-h-l stall uh, the stall racing family uh dad with two sons casey put up a um a video on how to clean clean your clutch and maintain your clutch so it's kind of where i've gotten my information from kind of basing my process here on his videos Basically, just trying to knock down any any build up from the brake shoes. Not bad. 
And we'll do the same to the brake shoes. inside these crevices and get these crevices Tomorrow's race day, so kind of just doing a little bit of maintenance on the stuff. Preparation for the race day. Just want to try and make sure everything's running good, running smooth. That way we'll lessen and reduce the amount of possibilities and chances of something going wrong. So that would really really ruin your uh, ruin your day if uh, you end up not finishing a race or even if you have some sort of failure um, that takes you either out of a race or out of a final or even possibly even qualifying having to qualify all the way in the rear just because simple maintenance and race prep was overlooked these clutches are really easy to pull apart, so you're really not, it's not like you have to, you know, really dig into it. So, a little bit of time, a little bit of time and effort put in the shop. Hopefully will uh, translate to a trouble-free race day. Now, one thing I, I don't know about, and I don't have enough experience to know, I, I'm not comparing, I have nothing to compare this to, so I really don't know where, uh, as far as the shoes go, I don't know how you're supposed to determine whether or not they're worn. I do believe it's by these crevices, by the notches in the shoes. I think whenever they wear down to where you no longer have um, the notches to where it's kind of like a tire. Uh, when a tire, you've got your tread, when the, when the tread wears down to where it's all even and you no longer have um, the grooves in the tire, time to replace the tire. I, I, I'm assuming that this is probably the same. Uh, once the clutch wears down to the point where there are no longer any grooves in the clutch shoes, uh, then I would um, I would assume that it's about that time to uh, replace the uh, replace the clutch, replace the clutch shoes, and rebuild the clutch. So, but this clutch definitely looks practically new. So not a whole lot of, uh, and of course, like I said, I don't have a brand new clutch to compare it to, but this looks pretty pretty well and the guy I mean that I did buy this uh, cart used um, the gentleman that I purchased it from did say that there was not a whole lot of race time on this cart in general and he um, it was obvious that he took very very good care of it um, and so everything that I have pulled apart on this cart uh, down to the engine and the chassis and everything definitely confirms that it's been well taken care of and well maintained so, um, so yeah, but that's about it. That's pretty much all you got to do with the clutch. Not a whole lot to it. 
So we'll go ahead and um, take a little bit of a a little bit of WD-40, spray it on the shoe. Again, based on a little bit more than that. Based on uh, Casey's recommendations. We'll clean up these washers, get them nice and shiny. After I'm done <clears throat> cleaning the clutch and everything, reinstalling it, then I will also be replacing the oil, changing out the oil on, <clears throat> on the engine. And that also ready for the race. Put fresh engine for race, or fresh, I'm sorry, fresh oil in for race day. is nice and clean and we'll just spray this plate Nice and clean so that you can see the glittering. Interesting. Oh, I see. <laughs> I was about to say. I was looking on one side and I was like, oh, this side says sprocket side, but yet the other side says sprocket side, but it's actually showing through. All right. Got this nice and clean. Okay, and then the next thing we got is we're going to clean off our bearings. And don't really want to spray brake cleaner on the bearings. So I think what I'm going to do... Most of the old oil is off of there. There's probably no no reason why I can't spray brake cleaner on here to, to clean them off, but I'm not going to. Go ahead and just um, we'll put some oil on them. Just 
got me some uh, some of my Mo tool. This is actually, you know, this is one thing I'm, I'm also debating whether or not I'm going to do. Um, just put a little bit of Mo tool oil in here and just kind of dip my finger, and we'll kind of just get a little bit of oil. I may end up because it's race day and I still got to go through my Mo2 oil anyways because that's the that's the oil that I got whenever I got the cart probably gonna this oil change I'm probably for race day I'm probably gonna put Mo2 Mo tool Mo tool oil in it and I'll run that for race day coat the inside and outside of this bearing with a little bit of oil all right so that's that Right, guys well that's it pretty much um that's the maintenance of the clutch uh, i'm going to go ahead and uh, put it back together um install it onto the engine and um then yeah and then we will uh we will go from there and this goes here but yeah uh, we'll uh get that installed and then like i said i'm gonna go ahead and uh, change the oil um on the cart uh and that'll be that'll be basically pretty it uh, pretty much it for um for my my race prep once I put the um once I put the clutch back on I'll have to uh adjust the um uh, obviously adjust my t um, chain tension um, get that set properly um yeah and then uh, and then just change the oil so uh, with that said I'm gonna go ahead and kill the video for tonight uh, finish up and. Uh, next time I talk to y'all, it'll be tomorrow at the racetrack, uh, prepping for the race and um, and a fun day of racing. Y'all have a good evening.